right guys, this is how I start my day most days. I'm going to be having a superfood shake. So today I'm having a tropical strawberry. So the reason why I'm showing you these containers is I give these to all the girls in my boot camp and my challenge group, and it just helps us figure out our nutrition. So you're eating balanced foods and not just heavily on one food group. So each color represents a different um, food group. And so I have a cup of frozen berries and it's just a mixed berries. Berries are so, so good for you. Great antioxidant. Um, I'm going to have some protein in here and I'm going to have some veggies. And what's crazy is you can't taste them. So I've got my tropical superfoods. This will actually act as a protein as my red container. And then I just keep a bag of frozen berries in my freezer to make it really easy. And I'll just dump in one cup measured out like that. And then the frozen spinach, I've actually already measured them. And then when I get home from the grocery store, I separate my bag of spinach into small individual bags in my freezer. That way I can just dump. And I don't have to make sure the spinach is fresh in the fridge. I just grab it straight from the freezer. I'm gonna dump it in here in just a second. I need another hand. But then I'm also gonna add 10 ounces of water. And the only reason why it's specifically 10 is because I've done it a few times. And it's just what works out to make it the consistency I like. But that's what I do. veggies for lunch has been mashed cauliflower and broccoli and what I do is I meal prep like I do a whole bag of broccoli for the week for like two three days of lunches and then I just measure it out and I don't like weigh my food but what I do what I do do it always makes me laugh when I say that but what I do is I use these colored containers and I give these to the girls that follow my nutrition plan in our boot camp um, and so this amount of food actually fits in here. So I have half mashed cauliflower that tastes like mashed potatoes. I swear it does. It's a great substitute if you're trying to get more veggies in. Uh, you just want to season it with salt and pepper. Um, and then I do some uh, broccoli. So that's my veggie. And then I have these buffalo chicken nuggets. They are from Morningstar. Let me show you. I'm having these for lunch today to get in some protein. They're vegetarian, they're pretty delicious. Um, but because they have some breading on them, um, I'm using it as my protein. As you can see, I'm measuring it out. But it has a little bit of breading on it. I'm actually considering it some of my yellow. So these are my colored containers. There's more of them, and I can go more in depth with you about them if you wanna learn more. But I've got my veggie, I have my protein. And then to drink, I am obsessed with these right now. This is my favorite flavor. It's cranberry lime polar, calorie free. It's just a sparkling water that's flavored a little bit, but what I do to bump up the flavor is I add a little bit of lime juice to make it a little more tart. So if you're a sour girl like me, you will love it. Love, love, love it. So that is what I'm having for lunch. You guys wanted to know my healthy treats so the noise you hear is I'm making soup on the stove so tonight I'm going to show you how to make sherbet so I'll show you my family has rainbow sherbet up here but I am not having food that has added sugar to it so you know what I'm having is frozen mango with a little bit of water or you can even do orange juice if you have a really good quality orange juice and blend it up only a little bit of liquid and mostly frozen fruit and it tastes better than sherbet. Now mango is does have um, sugar in it, but it's natural sugar. See, I've got a fresh mango here, and I wouldn't have this every night. However, if you are craving some frozen yogurt, a frozen yogurt, <laughs> some sherbet, it tastes very, very similar, but it's good for you. Okay, so my kiddos, they just finished their third week of school and they've been struggling with sore throats and we do all kinds of like home remedies for when everyone's not feeling so good. 
but my immune system has been pretty strong. However, today I woke up with a sore throat. So I was like, you know what, for dinner, I really want like, I don't eat chicken noodle soup because I'm vegetarian, but I wanted something like that. So I've got onions, garlic, thyme, salt, pepper, carrots, celery, and onion in here, and a little bit of olive oil. And then I'm going to add a lot of veggie broth and let this simmer for probably an hour because the longer you let soup simmer, the better it tastes. And then I'm going to add cauliflower rice because that'll be in place of the chicken and the noodles and that'll like really bulk up the soup. So if you're vegetarian and you're looking for chicken noodle soup, this is my little recipe. Mm -hmm. 